to Johnny Gall. With a world recession and an energy crisis, many say green technology could be a solution to both problems. Green technology is more than wind power and solar panels. It's everything from electric cars to smart communications and computer systems. The International Energy Agency projects that 35 trillion euro will be invested in the sector by 2050. Our environment correspondent Paul Cunningham has been to the world centre of the green tech industry, California, to assess if Ireland can get a slice of the action. An ordinary Dublin office block, but something extraordinary is happening inside Cisco headquarters. First there was the telephone, then there was the television. Meet the next technology, telepresence. Good morning from Galway, Paul. Good morning to you, Mike. How are things going? Great. Excellent. Telepresence is an advanced teleconferencing technology which Cisco has installed in all of its international offices. Because it's just like having a face-to-face -face meeting, Telepresence has slashed Cisco's travel budget. Over the past 12 months, we've been able to reduce our travel budget by over 50 percent and in the process have saved over 100,000 metric tons of carbon emissions. In California, the iconic hills of San Francisco draw in millions of tourists from around the world. Yet most don't drive down the interstate to Silicon Valley, the global hub for emerging green technologies like telepresence. The recession is biting here, but the money is still flooding into green tech. 20 years ago it was the high-tech firms and chips. 10 years ago it was the internet. Uh, now we're seeing much of their interest being in, into the green technology area. And that money is still out there. It is reduced, but it is still out there. Solar is another example of a rapidly expanding green tech industry despite the downturn. It's a $20 billion market growing at 35% plus um, you know, you know, annually, and it's on a global basis. But there are some countries doing significantly more than that, like the likes of India. India will probably grow at 150%. These are highly efficient solar panels, which it's hoped will retail at a fraction of the usual cost. Its Wicklow-born CEO says Ireland can land such green business. It's open season right now. I think we're at the beginning of a great growth period. Uh, Ireland uh, can participate in that. I think it's a land grab, and this is a great opportunity given that the nation has wonderful engineering expertise and infrastructure that's in place. This is a great opportunity and a great time for Ireland to embrace this. Innovalite is just the type of new company the IDA wants to attract and follow previous successes like Intel and more recently Google. Skills are the key. Uh, element that wins these type of projects and if we have the skills we can be successful in these industries. One green tech business the IDA is liaising with is electric sports car maker Tesla. Energy Minister Eamon Ryan tested the Roadster which can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just four seconds and has a range of 220 miles before needing to be recharged. It's not my thing. Our bikes are my thing usually, but if you're going to get a sports car, I think this is the business. Cisco is a global giant. 80% of global internet traffic goes through Cisco systems, and landing such companies, he argues, can lead us out of the downturn. Uh, I think that gives us real hope that we are actually good in Ireland at, uh, at working in this web space, and we can create jobs at it, we can, we can continue to be a successful country. Countries like Singapore and Switzerland are fiercely competing for the same green tech business. If Ireland wants to secure more like Cisco, it needs to be on top of its game. Paul Cunningham, Martin News. And Cisco says that telepresence technology, which you just saw in Paul's report, will be available for purchase by householders within just two